How's it? This is Mundo and welcome to The Working Guitarist. So you just saw me recording, recording a solo for a 60 second song called George. And you saw me recording without headphones. I was listening to the music coming out of the studio speakers and my guitar was coming out of an amplifier. And while I love to record and mic cabinets and amplifiers, many times you have to use virtual guitar modeling and plugins. And so I thought I'd let you guys see how I do it. So why use plugins? First of all, modeling, virtual guitar modeling, is getting better and better. And also, it's becoming required or requested at times uh, via recording and even live playing. So I'm embracing this technology as a working guitarist. Now, I love playing through my pedal board and miking cabinets and recording that way. It's, it's a lot of fun. But sometimes you don't want to be handcuffed into printing with that sound. For instance, if I'm doing a session here, once I send it to the client, they may come back with some suggestions. For instance, they may say, uh, hey, can you not use so much distortion? And the suggestions might not have anything to do with the playing. You know, could you take off the chorus, add some chorus, um, you know, reverb, whatever it is. You wouldn't have to re-record your part. You just change the plugin, send it back. Sometimes you just send the new track to them and let them or you visit their studio and you tweak the plugins that way. So it uh, gives you a lot of options, which brings me back to this project. I wanted options. I didn't know what kind of sound I was going to use. I did know I wanted to get something modern and psychedelic. And so I thought I'd show you the process of the plugins. I'm going to show you what I do for a lot of my recording sessions, especially when I know that they're going to use a, a guitar modeling or guitar plugin on the back end. Um, it takes all the pressure off of me. I don't have to worry about the noise that I may generate from my distortion. I don't have to worry about mic placement, getting that all perfect, in phase, out of phase. Um, this takes the pressure off of me. So what I'm doing is my, my guitar goes into this JDV direct box. It's a Class A direct box. And uh, it's going to the computer and giving me a nice clean signal. And that's all the computer is going to record. I'm also going through this box into my pedal board and my amp. And this amp is not being recorded. And you can hear the noise right now, but I can get a, I can dial in a nice, nice sound, and that makes me comfortable. Even if I'm playing a country, uh, even if I'm doing a country thing, um, I can record with this much distortion and then take it off on the plug-in end. All right, and then on the computer side, that's all it's getting a nice signal and from there we'll add distortion and stuff. All right here's uh, my computer screen of uh, the project. Let me show you what's going on. This highlighted channel is this guitar. There's a guitar track right there. You can also notice that it's great out here. This is the crazy guitar solo that you heard in the beginning. It didn't serve the song so it's muted out. Uh, let's give it a go. A lot of effects right? Let's turn off my pedal board and the amp and just hear what we got going on. By the way, here's my plugins. You can, I'm using Logic and you can find them here on Logic. Uh, I have a gate, there's my pedals, my amp. I have a clean EQ plugin, a compressor plugin, and also a preamp plugin. So pretty tiny, huh? But you notice there's no noise and uh, just a clean signal. So let's go turn on our, it says right here, modern British head. And let's say I didn't like that and you go through all these uh, amp modelings. Let's go to Modern American Head. We all know what that is, right? Let's hear that. Also have the option of changing cabinets. So I use the Ribbon 121. I like that. Brown face. And I'm back home. For this sound, you can see my pedal board that I set up. I ended up with this array of pedals. Here it's soloed. You got a treble boost. I can turn everything off and on. Vintage drive into, I stacked into a fuzz. You have to have a vibe. I just kept adding more time-based delays like this tie-dye delay and the blue echo. And everything is adjustable, as you can tell. And there you go. But now, what if you sent this to somebody and they said, ah, we wanted something more uh, hardcore, maybe more 80s or 90s. What would you do then? 
Well, let's redo our pedal board and our amps. All right, check it out. I've got like a, they call it an American Modern Head Time rectifier sound. It's here on the <laughs> I had a dynamic 20 mic, just wanted a, a dynamic sound, <clears throat> just for fun. Alright, let's add the uh, overdrive. Yet another option. We're familiar with this head. 112 cabinet, use a dynamic 57. <clears throat> By the way, you can see where I placed it. Got a distortion, phase. So all sounds kind of similar, but uh, gotta get the right sound, right? All right, and lastly, cause I keep saying, uh, hey, I could record all this, that distortion and still do a country gig. Our country session, here you go. This is kind of what I would do. I'd boost the top end, use a compressor, smooth, that, smooth out that attack, slap back echo. Um, could use a reverb from the amp, but I'm using a spring box here. It sounded good to me. And then, uh, you know, this amp, can it's great for everything from rock to country. Sounds like this. I'm not playing in the country style, but kind of gives you the idea. That last sound inspired me to go tone hunting, so this is the last one, but I had fun. I like this amp. I messed with the EQ, added a monster fuzz, kind of decimated it a bit, and then uh, used this rotary stomp box. Sounds like this. Yeah, it's kind of like an organ. Okay, check out the video now, George with his final mix, and you can see how the uh, plugins sit in the mix as well. I hope this shed some light on how to record with plugins. You could tell it was really fast and easy. I didn't have to set up my amplifier, my pedal board, go through a cabinet, mic the cabinet, get my level set. I was instantly into the uh, virtual world. So virtual amps, virtual pedal board. And uh, as you could tell, I had plenty of options. So this is a learning process for me with the plugins. And as I learn more, I'll share those ideas with you. Until next time, this is Mundo with the Working Guitars. Aloha.